Let's talk about some of the tools you might use for recording video. Uh, we should probably start with video cameras, such as this one. This is a little cheap consumer handy cam. Then there are also the more grown up versions of this that might be so big, which are more professional, that are going to work a lot better. The professional models have XLR inputs where I can put a, I can plug a, a professional microphone into them, um, and they're ideal. But really, you're talking about $10,000 for a decent camera, $10,000 plus, $100,000, whatever you want to spend. When I was working professionally, I did most of my work with my video camera that I used to have. But I sold my video camera quite some time ago because it, was, it had been supplanted by a DSLR like this. A DSLR is a still camera, but it was also capable of shooting video. And the video you, quality you can get out of a DSLR is far better than the quality you can get out of a video camera at the same price. So um, I sold my video camera long ago and I've been using one of these ever since. One thing you can do with either a video camera, a cheap one like that one, or a DSLR, is you can put a better microphone on it. So here I have the Rode video mic, which just bolts on, and then that will plug in down there, and then I've got halfway decent sound. It's still not professional sound, but it's better than nothing. Um, and it's, um, I, can get quite, I can get excellent pictures and reasonable um, audio out of this. And of course what I will do is I will use what's called double system. I'll use my professional microphone um, as a separate on a boom to record sound. That means that I have to use more than one person. I have to have someone on camera and someone on the sound uh, in addition to having whoever's, whoever we're, whoever's speaking or whoever is appearing on camera. So as you can see that's getting into a bigger and bigger and bigger crew and that's not the goal we're after here. So having dispensed with those, what is the solution? And the solution I'm using here is my phone. Um, it's an iPhone 4S. It's not even a recent model iPhone. It's an older model iPhone, but it works. And I can plug this little microphone into it, and hey, it's, it's, it's going. Now, it wasn't that long ago that I recorded a series of promotional videos um, for a, a photography course that I was teaching. And I was working by myself, so I set up my DSLR on a tripod to get impeccable um, video quality with a microphone on a mic stand and I, was, and I had everything set up just right. But the trouble was that the DSLR kept getting the focus slightly wrong because I would set the, the, um, set the camera up but it would focus on the wall behind me and then I'd come and sit in front of it and it would stay focused on the wall and I'd, be, I'd look bad. Um, or, uh, or if I set it manually I'd get it just slightly wrong and it would all just look no, no good. Um, that's the trouble with DSLRs. They require you to operate at a higher level of skill to get a good quality result. So for that reason, they don't really fit the, the bill that we're talking about here of cheap and easy. So my phone, on the other hand, is foolproof. It's designed to be foolproof, um, and it produces reasonable quality video in reasonable light. So what we need to do is find a good space to record in, set the phone on a tripod and plug a Nivellio Tie Clip microphone into it and we get passable results. We get results which are actually surprisingly good considering how much it's cost. And I'm, I'm really regarding a phone here as being um, not something that you, can, you can't really count the cost of the purchasing the phone because a phone is useful for so many other things as well. An iPad would do just as well.